place. Mm -hmm. This month, you can see actor Steve Gutenberg performing his own original show. That's right. It's a comedy called Tales from the Gutenberg Bible. And it's based on his 2012 memoir. The play details his life experiences growing up on the islands, Long Island, if you Long. would, and making it in Hollywood. Steve Gutenberg joins us live this morning. Hello and welcome back, sir. <laughs> Thanks for having me. We're out over at the, in New Brunswick at mm -hmm. the George Street Playhouse, mm -hmm. and we're having a great time. Yeah. And the audience loves the show, and it's 90 minutes, uh, and it's going great. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, what was, what made you want to write <clears throat> a show? You know, 2012 was the men, memoir, you mm -hmm. wrote the memoir, and then, and then what was the journey to, let's make it a show. Yeah. Um, well, actually, a friend of mine, Julian Schlossberg, who's a wonderful producer, mm -hmm. <clears throat> read my book, and he thought, you know, this could become a terrific play. Mm -hmm. So my dad has been ill for the last six years. So I was basically sitting at his bedside writing this play. We came up with 300 pages. Oh, my God. And uh, Julian and a wonderful artistic director from the George Street Theater, David Saint, they edited it down to 68 pages. Wow. Um, and then about three years ago, they decided to do it. But my dad's been ill, so I didn't want to do it. But my dad passed last July. Oh. So November, they gave me a call and said, do you want to do it next year? So I said, yeah, that'd be great. And it actually is helping me with my grief yeah. of losing my dad. Because a lot of the play is about, um, about my life with my parents yeah. and how I started out. I left home at 17 to go to California mm -hmm. to become an actor. And it's about their support. It's about my ambition. It's about all the interesting adventures I've had in Hollywood. And it's about family and, and, and also uh, how important relationships are, yeah. all, all relationships. But it actually is terrific because every night I get to be with my dad. Um, yeah. Arnie Burton, who's a wonderful actor, plays my dad. I get to hug him twice every evening. So, um, and it's been really hard for me to lose my father. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that. Yeah. Uh, and it's not even been a year. So every night I get to sort of relive him and it's helping me a great deal. It's a beautiful perspective. Grief is a funny yeah. thing. I, I lost my dad when I was 10 years old. And oh, I sorry. often, oh, it's okay. You know, I often wonder, I, do I wish I had known him better? Or am I just sort of living as my 10 year old self when I think about him? But right. boy, what I would not give to share a stage with him, even if yeah. it is just an actor. And I wonder if you could share the experience of working with an actor and sort of bringing him into your own life oh. for something that's so personal. Because yeah. I love when you said you get to to he share the stage father. with him every I night. I do. Um, Arnie Burton's a wonderful actor, and he really embodies my father so beautifully. And we have conversations. My dad didn't want me to become an actor. He really wanted me to go to school. Mm -hmm. And at 17, he let me go out to Hollywood and for two weeks, see if I could become a movie star. <laughs> two weeks. And what? is that when you snuck on the Paramount lot? Yeah. Then I, <laughs> I did. I snuck on this Paramount lot and set up an office for myself. There you got go. myself a phone. Started making my That's own phone calls. Right there. And yeah. And um, and throughout the process, my dad was watching me and calling me every morning and really wanting me to come back and go to school. And actually, after a year of staying out in Hollywood, and I did great. I had a bunch of commercials, did a few movies. I decided the culture really wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make any friends. Actors are very competitive. Yeah. So I went back to Albany State, and my dad was happy. I went okay. upstate to Albany State, SUNY. And then I got a call from my agent to do a movie called Boys from Brazil in Portugal. And I wasn't really sure, but it, it was so tempting that I went over to Lisbon and I yeah. filmed it with Laurence Olivier and, yeah. and, and I was in Vienna. Then I came back and I got another job in Hollywood and I didn't stop. But this is really and sort of the, an ode to my dad. History. Now, so you, I, obviously I'm guessing it wasn't within those first two weeks when you went out to Hollywood. You <laughs> stuck onto the lot and you had all those commercials. But is there a point in your career? I actually got, within my first three weeks, I got a commercial. A Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial. Not the Not Kentucky. KFC, okay. You like KFC? We, who doesn't? All right. Who doesn't love fried chicken? <laughs> Please. But what point was it that? Or was there, if, if you can even pinpoint it, what was the point in your career when you feel like, okay, everything I did, all the craziness, leaving at 17, mm -hmm. it's paid off? I, I, I thank God every day. I'm grateful every day. All the clothes I wear, uh, the way my wife and I live, the way that I've been able to contribute to my family's security and, and financial well-being, to take care of my parents, to be able to buy my mother and father a home in Florida, mm. and then 
a home in Ma back in Massapequa, across the street from my sister, oh. to be able to give them all security, um, to be able to make them proud. So every day, I thank God for everything in my life, and I'm grateful that I'm healthy and that I can, you know, when my dad was ill, I had to shower him and put his pajamas on, like he put my pajamas on when I was a little boy, and he helped me shower when I was a little boy. And I'm grateful that I was able to live with my dad for five, six years, and my wife let me mm -hmm. take care of my father for that long. So I think that being grateful is really what it comes about. And it sounds corny, and yeah. it took me a long time to learn that. But I don't want to be anybody else. You know, years ago, I would see someone taller, mm -hmm. someone more famous, someone richer, someone... And but you are exactly who you are. Now I, I yeah. really appreciate it's me. I have a wonderful life. I'm grateful what I have. And I want to share it. Yeah. And, I want, and you know, the givers are the winners. That's Listen, right. and everybody remind, should act like this. And remind folks where they can come see you. Well, they for next week, you can come out to the George Street Playhouse, and that is in New Brunswick, and we're playing seven performances. Then in August, for three weeks, we'll be at the Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor, which is a oh, beautiful wow. theater. Gorgeous. So I hope everybody comes out there. Fantastic. Steve, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thanks for having me on your show. You know, Absolutely. I know you guys could have a million people here. Thanks for having me here. You're oh number one God, on You can the come list. back anytime. Yeah, the door is right. always open for you. Thank you.